we're back. <laughs> Did you turn it on and off again? Perhaps there's a power problem with your stream. <laughs> oh no! Alright, are we back? I hope we're back. Please tell me the audio is in sync. Please tell me the audio is in sync, guys. Are we in sync? Are we good? Give me some good feedback. Yeah! Alright, awesome. That is fantastic. We're going to try to keep that then uh, and make that happen. Uh, for those of you interested, uh, I am known as Cymatic uh, within the RSI universe. Um, we've been trying to get together with Nate and a few other folks to uh, form a VR-centric uh, company. Uh, so let's see if we can get that done. So here we go. Uh, let's finally start up Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Star, Star Citizen has no joke audio. This is correct. All right, let's go. All right, Star Citizen. You are a citizen of the stars, citizen. You can go all the way to Mars, citizen. Why don't you come and get your peace? All right, here we go. I, I have no idea what, what that even means. Uh, <laughs> all right, the hypercube is ready for action and so am I. Let's launch some star citizen. Let's get this game on. Awesome. And, come on, bro. There we go. Check and double check. Okay. Uh, we're in there. So, what we have going on here is, uh, Star Citizen is going down, which is fantastico. Uh, it is loading up. This is a title by Chris Roberts, uh, maker of very famous titles in the past, such as Wing Commander. Um, awesome stuff. It's made in CryEngine, and it looks beautiful. It is such such a pretty, pretty looking game. Uh, there was a user config file I had to load up uh, to get this to work properly. Another thing you may or may not notice with my mask here on the stream is that there is no warping. Uh, so uh, it looks quite strange. I, I don't know if there's a way to get the warping on, but mm, we can see how that goes on. Uh, yeah, there's no distortion here, um, which is why it looks funny. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and, and check this out. So... Uh, other issues that you can see here so it already feels weird like it feels like the FOV is off because there's no distortion uh, so things just feel funny just straight off the bat uh, if you look closely like in the center of my vision there's some grime and dust on the ground that grime is in my left eye but not in my right uh, so it looks very strange it looks like a weird artifact there as well uh, but I can look down at my body and I am here. I can look. I have a hand that's really close. And see there. And then I have a hand over on this side. It feels like my head is slightly, is shifted slightly to the right. Um, so it doesn't seem like I'm dead center. And that could be a distortion thing or that could be something else. Um, so I move at a good clip. Evidently I am a lock and pop champion because my arm does not move while I walk. Um, but I got a few things. So I can go here. And I can change up my clothes totally. Uh, the icon that says use uh, does not jive. That is, I'm seeing double there. Uh, I cannot resolve that. Um, it's it's too much too close. Uh, but otherwise, looks clean. I have the ladder. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some other places around here. So I have a trunk that is full of things. I can press the uh, Y button to use things um as you can see here i'm using this uh and uh, a little a little thing has popped up over here it's i activated this panel but my left eye is only seeing part of it so there's definitely some things that that need some work um the stereo is not fully initialized for all items or all things there uh i have my awesome aquarium oh yeah 
Oh yeah, look at that fish. Oh yeah. I've got a I've got a got a made pilot with a fish. Um, there's some great detail. The lighting is beautiful, nice and soft. Have this shelf for all types of things. Uh, the sense of scale, in spite of the distortion being wrong, uh, is actually is, is pretty good. It looks like a pretty deep, um, a pretty deep hanger. Uh, I can go here. I'm assuming this will be like a firing range in the future. Uh, I can go here, and there's like a giant gun or a mobile device that I can get in. I forgot the name of this puppy. Uh, but this is another thing that I could get into and use, I believe. I have to go at it from this angle? This angle? There we go. I don't know. Okay, there it is. Come on! Activate! Um, so I can get in that seat. So now this is one of those things that you see. See, I'm immediately now, uh, like, teleported to be in a different position. And there we go. So actually, this feels better where the camera is now. Uh, and I can look around and be like, oh! Dude, nice. This looks beautiful. You know, it's like, hey. Um, and then I have, like, you know, those things moving in the background. Uh, I wish I could shoot, but it looks like nothing is happening, unfortunately. Um, but uh, this is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Now I press Y again, and he gets out. And I'm not sure where my body went and where it's animating. Like, my camera is by the foot or something, and now I'm facing my like the back of my neck uh so you can see like after some of these uh, canned animations things just get crazy uh let me try to use the mouse to like move myself in somewhere that doesn't suck okay excellent so i can play with the mouse and get myself back but like you said uh like like i said before the wrist support for this is not exactly like a hundred percent there's uh i mean it looks beautiful you can look at your ship this is the aurora uh and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i think i start ducking somehow as a result of that and i can go ahead and uh, open up my ship this animation is so beautiful it looks so nice um and then i can go ahead and uh and get in again getting into the ship is a canned animation i believe uh there we go fantastic um so that's again i'm kind of seeing parts of my body um and it's a little weird so i have two things i can do inside of the ship uh, you can see how beautiful this looks and hopefully i'm um you know uh not boring everyone here but this is this is kind of a geek out session for me because this looks awesome um so i feel like as far as the size of the ship it feels pretty good again the distortion's off so as i look around it definitely feels weird um so i'm keeping my head rather still if you haven't noticed before um so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to get in the seat. So he kind of gets his arm across and gets into the seat here. Um, now, the camera doesn't stay in a proper place the whole time, but he kind of does some things. Boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. Excellent. Uh, and now you're in the ship. Again, it's kind of weird when it feels really good whenever he comes to rest, like to sit down after one of these canned animations. But then, like... Uh, once you start animating and start walking around, the camera does not seem to be in the right place. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, so I can't do anything here except I can press the right analog stick to look around. I can look around the cockpit. Uh, there's nothing that comes up contextual. It's just kind of sitting down the ship and uh, wishful thinking. Uh, so I can press Y again. I press the buttons to exit out. Do 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 pew pew and then I get out. So I think my body is turning around there, but my head stays this way, and then I'm not sure what, and now I'm, I'm facing the opposite direction. Um, so once again, it's one of those weird things where the canned animation is not handled terribly well, um, but uh, I hope to see some improvement with that in the future. I mean, I'm just happy that we got some semblance of compatibility and they released something just to show us what they're working on, and it looks fantastic. I don't want to seem like I'm coming down too hard on this experience, um, but the look of this is really impressive. Uh, the other thing you can do is kind of get into a bed here. Um, this is going to be a dangerous thing about Star Citizen. I could already imagine people playing a whole weekend, getting inside the bed, going to sleep with the rift on, and waking up still in Star Citizen like it's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> um, so one of the weird things here, my head has now shifted to my crotch. And uh, that's that's interesting. And now it's back as my head. <laughs> um, and I have like 
my my arm is like this it's like on the back of my head here so that's kind of nice i can look up and i'm just gonna go to sleep i can already imagine this is gonna be very very dangerous for a lot of people like you're just gonna fall asleep you're gonna wake up and you'll be like oh oh let's get up shall we yeah i'm just gonna get in my ship here so again the camera for whatever reason as a part of the animation it's in the wrong spot um so this doesn't feel like it should um but definitely there's that potential there uh the movement of the camera itself is not bothersome it's just the location of the camera and then after you're done more than more often than not it snaps you to some other location which doesn't feel all that wonderful um so again this is the thing why i think he turns around goes down the ladder uh, and it's, i think it's gonna snap me back i think or um or maybe not yeah okay there it is it snaps me back um so that's something to consider uh when you're when you're talking about star citizen i'm not even sure if my my body's facing the right way anymore um what else to show here the ladder let me go ahead and check that out uh, that guy always creeps me out seems like he's about to do something all right so i have the ladder this is another case of a canned animation i uh go here and i can get up to the ladder and He's supposed to be grabbing it, but his, his arms are not in the right place. Uh, and I can go up the ladder, and it's like he's grabbing air. Um, so it's not quite matched up. Uh, again, I think this looks fine in the regular 2D monitor, uh, but for whatever reason, um, it doesn't look quite like it should here. Um, and now I'm, something else is going weird here. I don't know. Uh, what's, what's up? All right. And then I'm kind of on a catwalk on the scaffolding up here. I can see the entire hangar and see what's going on. Uh, so that is Star Citizen in a nutshell. Uh, there are other hangars, more deluxe hangars, that have a few other things. But you can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. Um, this is basically an experience that uh, the stereo does need a little bit of work. Um, but all in all, it looks beautiful. It's definitely a great teaser. It makes me very excited uh, to start diving in. I can't wait for this game to happen. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, there's probably uh, some other user configs or some other things that I missed. I know there's been a lot of information that's been scattered around um, about how to make this experience a little bit better. Um, I've seen a video that had warping activated, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. I, I looked it up and wasn't able to find it right away. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, sweet. And there we go. Um, wonderful. So that is it. What's happening? Oliver JT in the house. Ah, bonsoir to you. Bonsoir to you also. I'll see. Um, sweet uh this is fantastic so it looks beautiful it's it's like it's almost there star citizen is almost there i want it to be so much more but i mean i can understand they have a core game they have a very ambitious mission to worry about so they are working on core functionality uh, i know chris roberts believes in the rift and this is something important to him he's going to make a priority um but i think in the order of things that you have to uh look at certain other things first um you have to you know make sure your gameplay is solid uh you want to make sure that your environments are solid uh the interactivity the ui all these other things uh, they want to make sure is correct um so oculus rift compatibility is one of those things that they'll visit it periodically but I, it probably won't be polished up until a little bit later in the game um so there we have it star citizen man oh oh great uh another thing that it does here that's kind of uh troublesome is that it has this menu that comes up and it moves with the mouse but it ignores head tracking and this is not visible in stereo so it's again it's these little polishing touches where you know there's a lot more that'll have to be done to make it a hundred percent awesome uh, rift compatible and the only reason i'm i'm really excited and positive about this is because the sheer amount of excitement and dedication that uh chris roberts had from the very beginning i mean he was one of those guys that very early on um was very positive uh very excited about the rift um and really uh just just really um I don't know, very, uh, very articulate and, uh, and inspiring about the, uh, the types of, uh, uh, the types of experiences he wants to bring. So I am 
cautious but hopeful uh, with this experience. All right, excellent. So we're going to go ahead and exit. We're going to say yes. And there we have it. And the music is back. Awesome. This music in Star Citizen is the best. The best. The best. I love it. So that wraps up Star Citizen. Let's go ahead and close that out. And we are going to move on to the next thing here. Uh, we are done with Star Citizen. And we are moving on to a title called Mountain Rescue. Let's pull up the page and look it up. Uh, for those of you that have just joined, welcome to the Cymatic Bruce Sunday Virtual Reality Show. I'm your humble host, Cymatic Bruce. I play virtual reality experiences using the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. Um, right now, we are cruising we've done vr training and homage uh to metal gear solid we worldwide telescope which was fascinating star citizen which needs some work but is very inspiring and we're going to move on to a title called mountain rescue all right what's happening a uh, red of paw what's happening man so so awesome so glad you're here oh polls let me change up the poll uh, looks like a lot of people are in favor of doing both. Uh, doing just the streams like this with lots of experiences um, and also seeing something like a full game playthrough or like a special with Minecraft. Uh, so that's cool. Thank you for your votes, everyone. Uh, let me drag that here. You can see the results of the poll. Uh, awesome. Uh, so looks like it was uh, 36 votes in favor of seeing both and uh, the second was people kind of want to uh, just see this type of stream with a lot of different experiences. So, uh, thank you for your feedback. Let's get another poll. This one on the... Uh, let's see, I'm going to change this up here. I'm going to stop this. And we are going to get a poll on... Uh, end! Hold on, let me... Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Here we go. The cup in this. There we go. Uh, about GDC. Uh, what will Oculus reveal at GDC? Let's get some awesome speculation going on. Um, nothing. Same stuff. Uh, from CES. Um. New prototype. Next stage of Crystal Cove. Let's get some uh, some entertainment playing here. Uh, let's see. Um, what else are we gonna we're going to see here? Um, uh, announcement of development kit two. and then sail shortly thereafter. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't see the chat with Palmer. Is this is this a moot po is this is this a moot poll? Is this a moot poll? <laughs> they're going to announce they're going to announce Half-Life 3. Awesome. It's not a moot poll, says Rev. Don't make me think this is a moot poll. I didn't. I. 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 There's so much news. I. I haven't got a chance to watch everything. I'm so sad. Um. Last thing is announcement of consumer version one. Yes. And the last answer is Half-Life Three. Okay, excellent. We are ready to start this poll poll has begun give me your answers <laughs> excellent i every time i put half-life 3 in a poll i feel it invalidates the poll but oh well uh <laughs> okay excellent so a new poll is up definitely check that 
out. We are going to move on to the next thing. Here we go. Uh, we've run through quite a few experiences and now we're going to take on the next experience. It is called Mountain Rescue. Let's visit the site and check it out. I saw this on, uh, I think on a Rift Enabled or no, the work in progress on the dev forums. Um, and it seemed pretty interesting. So it's an Oculus Rift demo game made for Mac and Windows. Uh, you come across a plane wreck in the Arctic and you got to search for clues and try to search for survivors and find people uh, and get items. So it's gamepad to look and move, A to jump, Oculus for tracking. It seems very, very straightforward. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and start this experience up. So pause the music once again and let's go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, so let me put uh, Star Citizen is going back into the list. Uh, Spirited Away, I can play that if people want to see it once again. Most of you have probably already seen my video with that. Uh, Mountain Rescue is here. Uh, let me see, was there anything? World War T, not World War, uh, Worldwide Telescope goes in as well. And let's go ahead and start Mountain Rescue. Uh, so here we go. 1280 by 800 sure make it fantastic it's not going to be window let's have it full screen gonna switch over the game mode uh game mode is now a little more entertaining <laughs> not just a blank screen and uh here we go all right we are started we have begun uh so what you're going to see here is well, I have no idea what you're gonna see here. Um, all right, let's just do it. So I am looking for people. I've rescued zero of twenty, and I've got no artifacts. I've got a sweet boat. Ah, uh, that's tight. Can I just get in my freaking boat? Okay, the right analog stick does not seem to turn me, and I'm also getting some wicked drift right now. Like, am I supposed to be? spinning in circles like this okay let me I wonder if the mm. the, the Hydra isn't plugged in I wonder if the game started without the controller being on uh, being on neutral uh, let's see let's restart uh, make sure that my controller, the right analog stick, is on neutral there. Uh, let's see, Mountain Rescue. 1280 by 800. Fantastic. Let's go. Alright. Very good, very good. So here we go. And... Looks like it just doesn't... What? Okay, looks like there's something weird going on. So, on the right analog stick, it's up and down that's turning instead of left and right. So, it looks like there's a, a slight issue in the programming here. Um, that's okay. This is why I do these things. This is what we do. We play pre-alphas. We play betas. We play things that are proofs of concept. I want to encourage all devs to keep at it. If your thing is broken, don't feel bad because I break everything. <laughs> It's my special gift. It's my mutant power. I break crap. Sometimes only seconds in, it's broken. Um, so let's see. Let's give this another shot. Instead, let's use the mouse and keyboard. Uh, I'm going to have to be very gentle with the mouse and not, uh, not break this or not break myself in my stomach. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna slowly turn my mouse here. Uh, looks like evidently there's something that's glowing there. Uh, maybe kryptonite, maybe nothing. I do not have a body. Um, so there's no frame of reference here, but uh, there we go. Definitely this is an early stage. I'm collecting artifacts. Ooh, that does not look nice. Um, so looks like and I do not move where I look. I actually have to turn my body to, uh, or my invisible body to be, you know, straight on. So right now I'm collecting artifacts. 
And the survivor here is a glowing green person. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Miley Cyrus did not make it. Oh, that is a shame. Um, I don't know what that is over there, but I'm just going to follow this. It feels like I'm playing Pac-Man. Um, all right, very good. So again, this is clearly very early. It's uh, very simple assets we have going on here. Uh, let's see, without moving the mouse, uh, you know, the tracking isn't too bad. Uh, let's see. That's good. Yeah, this uh, control, I would like to have an analog stick here. It's just this mouse sensitivity is super high, uh, and that makes it pretty difficult. Um, so I'm kind of going to be regulated to strafing and uh, making that happen in that way. Let's see here. Oh, Jesus. And I have 15 artifacts. I'm not sure how many artifacts I have left to go. Why is there an artifact? Is that an artifact way out there? Strafe, young man! Strafe! That is an artifact. That was interesting. Off the beaten path. So it's not just Hansel and Gretling here. Um, my jump is rather crazy. Let's see. Um, so this is kind of a straightforward experience. You're just going through. You're collecting items. Um, it doesn't have much in the way of ambiance, uh, except for the sounds here, which are kind of nice. So far, I've only rescued one person, and, uh, I'm not sure what these artifacts are supposed to, uh, represent. It looked like books, um, but it's one hell of a plane crash to leave behind a, a whole slew of books here. Uh, looks like I cannot clip through those. Okay, that's good. That's solid. Um... All right, so this seems like pretty pretty standard fare. Um, kind of a proof of concept. Clearly someone just getting used to uh, making an experience in the Rift. Uh, I think this is one of the first things I've actually worked on in Unity. Um, so, I mean, given that, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I would like more in the way of pacing, though. It seems like I've only come across one person and is very clearly laying out a path for the player to follow, but... I'm not coming across a person, and I'm not sure if I mean if I'm if I divert from the path is is that a good idea or and I'm running into weird plants now. Uh, let's see. This looks like this doesn't seem safe. I hope this ice is solid. Um, I feel like I'm skating. All right. Uh, all right. So it looks like I might be approaching a plane crash. Or not. That's just some some random ruins. Okay, where's the where's the next thing? What what the hell happened here? Okay, I'm kinda getting getting disoriented because of my mouse mouse motions are so um so fast. Okay. Uh so yeah. Uh I am going to stop it here. Uh so this is kind of an experience that uh looks like it was kind of a warm up. Um and uh I was I was looking for for more. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that is that is okay. That is okay. Uh, that is uh, that is all right. Um, so again, it's one of those things. Uh, people take baby steps and get used to uh, trying to get their you know their experiences to work using the Rift. Um, using the mouse and keyboard here is definitely problematic uh, with the mouse sensitivity so high. Um, and uh, picking up books simulator. Uh, I don't know if I go exploring, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I would just run into a brick wall or something. Uh, so there we have it. There's mountain rescue. These people are just going to have to die. All right. Excellent. We are going to move on. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, so that was mountain rescue. Uh, and, oh, I forgot to change that in the, in the ticker down there, and that's okay. Uh, what we're doing now is, uh, Techno Lust. Wait a minute, I have to get the new version of Techno Lust. I have to re-download. I have not re-downloaded yet. Um, let me see, let me see. Anticleric, can you, let, well, let me see it. Um, well, let me run it. Uh, this is one I, uh, let's go. I'll just run it. And you can tell me if you believe it's the point oh eight. Do I have to run it all the way? Or can you tell just by here?
Is this not it? Download again? Is this wrong? It's wrong. All right, still on point five. All right, so I downloaded the file that was named point five. That was supposed to be point eight, but that is okay. Um, yeah, because I thought it was supposed to be point eight, but it was named point five. Um, but it says point five in the title bar still. So, okay, cool. So I have to re-download. Um, no problem, Anticleric. Don't even worry about it, dude. It happens. Uh, cool. Anticleric, can you give me a link? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't think I got it the last time. Maybe the chat froze or something else. Make sure not to put the HTTP, just put www, and then give me the link for that. And we are going to definitely check out Technolust. There we go. Ah, fantastic. Copied. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, I want to make sure that I'm going to the right link here. Technolust pre-alpha 0.08. Check, check, check. Features, download, Technolust, Win64, download this puppy. And the download has begun. Let's get some music going here, softly. And we are going to do a more. Uh, let's see. So Technolust is going to be moved to a slot farther down. We'll give that time to download and then install. So what we're going to do now is check out a title called Universe Rush. Universe Rush. Let's go ahead and change that in the ticker and make that happen. Universe Rush. Excellent. So currently playing Universe Rush. Let's check this out. So we have Universe Rush here. This is on the Oculus Share beta page. It's uh, relatively new, uh, and it's the experience of being in an orbital space colony, a uh, short trip around the space station, and looks like it's going to be pretty fun. I've heard some good stuff about impressions uh, from this demo. Um, so, blam, blam, blam. What's happening? Stimpak is talking about uh, running ads. Yeah, so far I don't get anything with with ads. <laughs> I should uh, do something like that. That's soon. I'm planning on starting a Patreon um, very soon. It's just I've been spending every waking hour uh, basically writing articles, preparing for streams, and then actual work. Um, so we'll see what's going on there. Um, but I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. I have like backed up emails and messages I still need to get to. Um, but I will get a Patreon started so you guys can, uh, you know, see. Um, yeah, the requirements for partnership on Hitbox, uh, I think I'm going to qualify now. I get over, I'm averaging over 100 viewers on my stream. Um, and I think the stickler is that you have to stream three times a week. But I might be able to work with Hitbox and see what they can do for me. Um, and see if they can work around that. Since I, I stream for a long period of time, I can maybe do twice a week. I don't know about three, but we'll see. All right, excellent. I'm number one. Fantastic. So, Universe Rush. Let's start this up, dude. Let's check this out. Uh, there we go. Bam. Oh, oh. Yeah. So, we are going to pause this music. We're going to start off some Universe Rush. I want it fantastic. I want it at the native resolution. We're going to change over to game capture mode, and we are going to play this up. Here we go. It is beginning. It's beginning. It's beginning. Holy... Oh, don't... Don't, don't play around! Oh! Universe Rush. Rush Lab. All right. Let's go. Just no no bullshit approach. Just start the game. Holy crap. Okay, slow camera pan to the side. Helium-3 is a clean source of energy to fuse in a nuclear reactor to produce energy. I have no control. Uh, no controller, no mouse keyboard. I'm just a floating head. Um, right now, my, my relative size, it seems like I, these are models. And maybe my head is the size of one of those huge cruisers. Um, there we go. Titanium and silicon storages contain gathered mineral materials. So it's kind of giving me a tour of each object. Ah! Uh, rock! 
All right, excellent. Just checking this out. Oh, that looks sick. It's like it's being built by all these little drones here. Why, why are you looking at me? What did I do? Why are you over here looking at me? Why are you being a spaceship there? Huh. So they're looking at me and then they're continuing their work. Sick. Okay. Titanium is a strategic metal for use in producing spacecraft, aircraft, and missiles. Wonderful. Let's try a different voice. Most microchips are currently made from silicon due to semiconducting properties. I'm going to read everything. Um, so people give me some suggestions for accents here. <laughs> give me suggestions for accents for my uh, for the next time I'm reading this. Next item that comes out. This is fascinating. The models look awesome. Um, all right. Helium storage saves a radioactive fuel for ships. Excellent. Ukrainian? <laughs> I don't even know Ukrainian. Irish. Irish, check. I'll try. I'll try to get some Irish in here. All right. Fusion reactions make use of helium-3 to produce clean energy. Or is that, is that, I don't know. Was that Irish? Was that Irish? Or was that, oh man. I am horrible with my freaking Europe accents, man. I'm working on him. I'm working on him. Russian. Russian next. Russian, I'm fled. I'm Russian, I'm fled. I'm uh, invading the Ukraine. Click to select, restart, website, the Facebook, or Kickstarter. You can go wherever you wish. We are open for funding a dev at universerush.com. Um, I don't know. I think that's, I think that's pretty good. Sing it! I have to sing it. That's, that's really bad, isn't it? That's really bad. <laughs> Do Bill Cosby. <laughs> I can't do Bill Cosby, dude. I'm so horrible at Bill Cosby. I could sing it. That was kind of a cool experience. Um, I love these experiences when it's just a giant sphere as the planet. Uh, I would like my, maybe whatever the IPD is, or maybe the assets should be bigger. I, I want to feel a little bit smaller. I, my head feels like it's a huge, like, like I'm Galactus floating around or something. Um, but let's sing the exit. Uh, while we get out of here. So, click to select. You can restart. Go to website. Facebook and Kickstarter. You can do it all night. Woo all right, here we go. <laughs> you go to the website. You can restart. You can do Facebook or Kickstarter. So, let's say um, Kickstarter. And that doesn't work. Maybe I click. And looks like that just pulls me out of the experience there. Uh, and does it open, did it open a, what did it do? Did it do something? Did it open a page? It did. Uh, let me put this over here. So it did open, looks like they have a Kickstarter. And, uh, let me bring this here. And, um, looks like, wow, they were looking for a hundred grand well let me actually put this here and just uh, just maximize i'll just maximize and take away the mask and here we go so we're looking at universe rush um 99 backers uh looks like they didn't make their goal i didn't hear about this so i don't know when they started that but that was, uh, looks pretty cool um but uh, yeah i'm not sure when they actually started their campaign um hmm first created zero back doesn't tell me much um but it, it it definitely looks cool uh it's kind of a cool little uh thing they did there uh titanium mine looks like kind of a home world ish type deal all right so that's really interesting man i have yeah i have no idea maybe they're gonna restart their kickstarter and come back um very good um so let's get the mask back on uh, let's uh, refresh that page there. Uh oh. And there we go. So that was the rush. The universe rush. All right. Excellent. Oh, yes. Classroom Aquatic. People, Classroom Aquatic. It's like the tune in exam from Naruto, except you're underwater and you're with dolphins. 
Come on, they're so close. Do it. Crash Lander as well? Crash Lander! Oh! Dude, no way! That game is so fun, dude! They have a Kickstarter? Alright, we gotta look at this. We've gotta look at this. Oh. Get the mask out of here. And... I didn't know they had... They have an Indiegogo, right? Or is it a Kickstarter or Indiegogo? It's an Indiegogo. That they have. And I was so sure. How close are they? What? This game is phenomenal! No! <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I'm registered with Indiegogo, but I'm going to be pledging for this after the stream. Um, if only to... Yeah. Dude, uh, spread the word. Crash Lander is an excellent game, and they should get funded. They deserve to get funded. It's really awesome. All right, very good. Um, wow, dude, I didn't know Crash. I thought I thought their Indiegogo was. I swore it was better than that. Oh man, uh, that's a worthy experience. There's just so much stuff out there. I have a hard time keeping track. Uh, all right, excellent. So we just got done with Universe Rush, and that was kind of a quaint little exploration uh of a space area um so yes yes yeah the community is so small man we can only support so many so many things right ah oh, sigh all right very good so now that we are in it to win it let's move on to the next thing which is Breach. Breach is our next demo. Let's go ahead and get in this. Let's see. Breach. All right. So, Technolust is downloading. This is fantastic. Uh, but what we're going to do now is check out Breach. Oh, horror experiences, guys. You know I hate them, but I do them because I love you. Uh, finally, here we go. This is a dev forum. Uh, this is a uh, dev jip uh, with a couple of friends, a survival horror game. Uh, looks like you're on a spaceship and you're trying to avoid whatever that thing is. Uh, <laughs> um, so there we go. It's a UDK title. It is, is installed, um, so we will check it out. Nice, Ryan, what's happening, man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks, man. Looking forward to playing later tonight specter oh my goodness all right wonderful uh so here we go we're going to dive right into breach let's go ahead and uh pause the music once again and we are going to start this up should have a udk logo breach there it is and i think i'm going to switch to game capture first and there we go uh, breach. Let's do this. And there we go. Up. Oh, and there we go. Let me. There's something off. Something is not right here. This never. Oh, looks like it goes to the Kickstarter page without exiting. That is an issue. Okay, uh, Universe Rush, Alt F4, you're out of here. Okay, so that was why. Let's start up Breach once again, and now that it has access to the virtual reality device. And excellent. Let's Alt Enter. There we go, it's full screen. And let's F12 this. And there we go. Uh, breach is a go. <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, Jesus. Is it, uh, is the stream still laggy for anyone? Is it still horrible? Sorry. Uh, I'll get to it after I do that. Oh, Lord. Okay. 
so first of all is there there's warping uh excellent it looks great oh jesus the hell is that the hell is okay so cryopod status looks like i've awoken from my cryopod i have no ability to uh to shoot move or anything else shit me please call on ship physician practice safe wake up procedures I've got a flashlight. Well, the only place to go is the place where the freaking creepy ass thing was. Some bullshit. Okay, so first of all, aesthetic is great. Uh, it has some muted colors. Kind of a cell shaded look. It looks really good. The flashlight is at a comfortable size. The hallway is at a comfortable size as well. Uh, looks quite good. Um, it's overly dark. <laughs> That's not a problem. It's just a, it's a problem with me. This is a, a mirrored wall or something? Going around. Checking out hallways. Jesus. Going downstairs. This can't be good, dude. This is already just all bad. This looks so pretty. Oh, Jesus, why? Anxiety, why? Why would you make the hallway even narrower? So unnecessary. So freaking necessary. Okay. Um, so, for those of you that might be new to the stream, uh, one of the things that is really awesome about the Rift is a sense of presence. You really feel like you're in this place. Um, and you always, like, have a sense that there's something behind you. Uh, you're all the way around. So you can see as I look, I can look everywhere, and the environment is surrounding me. Uh, the tracking is very good. Um, and this is in stereoscopic 3D as well. Uh, so it's, uh... It's a very realistic walk speed. I do not have a body. Um, so I would prefer to have that. Um, but the controllers, or the control interface is actually quite good. Uh, it's good analog stick. It's at a good walk speed. So it's not bothering me overly much. Um, however, it would be great to have a sense of reference and also hear some footsteps. Jesus. Is this the other side of the? It's not like I just went made a made a loop here. Um, I don't think I'm making any progress. Uh, I can't tell if this is like a window or a shit. Did you see that? Anyone else see that bullshit? Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Oh god, dude! Oh no! Oh no, that is bull. That is trash. How are you supposed to avoid that crap? You supposed to turn your light off, maybe? Oh. So at the beginning, um, this thing pops out of that door. I'm not sure at what time, though. Hope he doesn't do it again while I'm over here. Okay, so I can press X to turn my light on and off. Um, and someone is hitting me up. Uh, hey, Demuncia, hey, Ruben is was hitting me up in the chat for uh, through Steam. All right, this is basically Slender Man in space. It is Slender Man in space, and it is creepy as all hell. It looks great. It's a great aesthetic. It looks fantastic. Um, it is really just freaking nuts. 
Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have turned my light off. There's nothing else you could do. There's no weapons. Uh, there's nothing else you can do except run. Uh, so you're pretty limited. Uh, and that's that's rough. Um, who else is there? Micah is in here. Mika, Micah. Welcome, my friend. Excellent. Um, this is... I think Steam is open. I think anytime I open something in UDK, it actually, like, Steam it hooks into it. Um, so it's not, I don't know if it's on Steam, but it's, uh, this happens with UDK titles, which is pretty interesting. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go at this one more time. And, um... Yeah, it shows, the the frame. Yes, it is going to show because I have C-cups. I'm sorry. I have C-lenses. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. Uh, I will try to widen that a little bit, but that was based on the, um, it was based on the outline of an actual game. So there we go. But, uh, I'm, I'm sorry it's distracting. I'll see if I can, I can do something about that. I'm gonna try to widen it a little bit so that I won't be seen. Uh, just remove the neon part and it'd be fine. Okay, I'll remove the neon part. That sounds good. All right. Let's do this one more time. This is so freaking creepy, dude. So evidently, this thing is attracted to... Attracted to light? I'm assuming? Um... So I'm going to keep my light off. But I have no idea how to, like, actually run. If I need to run. This environment is so creepy, dude. So this is kind of a cool center of the spaceship. It's like going to be attacked from every angle. Which is not cool in any sense of the word. What? Can't open this. Oh, Jesus. Can't open it. Gotta be kidding me, dude. So this title does a great job of building tension. Where? Where is it? So this is a deadly anxiety inducing game of hide and seek and I hate it <laughs> I love it and yet I hate it um, the monster that's going after you is humongous it looks like it's maybe 10 11 feet tall um, it's a slender man basically um, let me see. Uh, go down thin hallway. I don't have a run. To the left first. Can't lock. Right. Jesus. Okay. Usually I like to talk to describe the experience, but... Oh shit, where is he? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, that is so freaking frustrating. You have like a... Like, you know, the spider sense that lets you know the monster's near. Um, but oh god, there he is! Shit. Ah, uh, uh, but you have no idea how close or where he is. Uh, wow. 
brilliantly executed, very well done, uh, very nice, creepy. Not sure about the uh, the objectives or anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I was supposed to actually find. I read that it's supposed to do something, but I, I'm not I'm not sure what I can do. Uh, and it's uh, it's wild. Quite cool. Quite cool experience. I was breach uh, uh, a a project uh, by some amazing people. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be still in production, but I tell you what, I am going to hit escape. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, in that experience right there. I'll tell you I had enough. I tell you that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. That was a horror game that I could probably keep playing. Um because you feel like there's something that you can do. I mean you could maybe move in a certain way, maybe I could re strategize that and find certain ways so I can um position myself advantageously. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's quite cool, though. That's, that's really cool. All right, excellent. Um, whew, that was Breach. Jesus. All right, so now as my heart rate <laughs> goes down, we're going to go to our next demo, uh, which is Twist and Shout. Twist and Shout, uh, which is a roller coaster demo, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check it out. Very good. Uh-huh. Are we talking about, in the chat, we're talking about having a game that simulates being born? <laughs> that would be great. With haptic feedback that makes you feel the spank and makes you cry and everything, too? Amazing. You start level one, your sperm. It's like the uh, MMO of Floppy Bird. <laughs> or Floppy Bird. That Floppy Bird MMO when it has a skin when you're a sperm trying to get through the egg. Have you seen that one? It's hilarious. Anyway, um, very cool. Uh, aside from that, let's look at Twist and Shout. It's also on Oculus Share. It looks like it's a roller coaster hanging in midair and or hanging in space. And we are going to check it out. Looks like very straightforward, and I am uh, kind of curious to see how this goes. Always looking forward to a cool roller coaster ride. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out. We're just going to start that up immediately. Let me go ahead and change this so it says twist and shout and save that now the ticker at the bottom is updated and we can begin our experience uh twist and shout twist and shout twist and shout let it out let's see we're gonna go fantastic native resolution and we're gonna go to game capture mode and start this puppy up here we go and the ride has already begun doesn't look like it has any sound i am looking i am looking i am looking i'm on a roller coaster i am alone i do not have a body and it looks like the front of it it looks like a red bumblebee tamo oh all right oh nice not bad not the same feeling maybe i've just been made immune like uh after doing all of the coasters from that uh uh that firm in uh in the netherlands or denmark or i forgot where it was they had like the cobra coaster it was madness whoa okay now i'm feeling it now i'm feeling it course crew for the win holy crap all right and brakes okay no sound straightforward straightforward ride um uh cool roller coaster and uh there you go so yeah very straightforward experience um the corkscrew is easily the best part the drop uh was not super impactful i guess everyone you know once you're conditioned by rift coaster from boone i think that's pretty much the deal um and the roller coaster stops and maybe you press a button to reactivate it oh no it just goes okay it gives you a while to switch in between people that's thoughtful all right so twist and shout very quick. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so it looks kind of like this is the type of thing that you would do like in a theme park studio. Um, yeah, it needs really some more stuff. I'd like to see some environment, some like uh, some objects that give you a sense of your scale and height. Uh, I really only felt things in the corkscrew. That was really cool because I think you have a lot, lot of things around you that are kind of giving you some relative motion. I love to have a body in there. Um, but yeah, that was pretty neat. 
short and sweet. All right, nice. Let's Alt F4 that puppy, and there we go. Uh, so that was Twist and Shout, quick and easy. Next is an experience called Highland. We are going to check that out. Let's get some some ambiance going on while I explain this. I don't want to open anything. I just want to save this. Okay. So what we have is Highland. It is an interesting experience. Uh, it looks like it was intended um, to use a PlayStation Move controller. You can use the Xbox 360 controller, but be warned that this was an experience designed for a PlayStation Move controller, uh, and so we probably are gonna run into some design or some other issues that are going to be troublesome for this experience. Nevertheless, um, I do not have a hold of a PlayStation Move at this time, and I just still wanted to try that uh, experience. I want to try this experience. T and Tatooine, man. Uh, have a have a great time. Have a great night, man. Take care. Take care. See you later. All right. So it was uh, kind of an atmospheric vignette, uh, and I am all about that. That seems pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check that out. Again, it's a title in UDK, so I'm expecting some good, awesome, solid graphics. And uh, let's go ahead and start it up. So let's go. Game capture mode, check. Highland is starting. Checkity check. All right. It's a winter exile game jam in the spring of 2013. Um, so it looks like they've converted this for Oculus Rift and PlayStation Move use. And already it has a great start. It is very cinematic uh, in the way the text has come up. Oh, wow. Holy crap, I'm a dude, and I have some freaking bagpipes, bro. Let's go. Ah. Let's play these things. I can... I looks like I pressed A, and I took a breath. I don't know what... Okay, I'm hold. I hold right bumper. There we go. Okay, it said it can be played with an Xbox controller. Ah, nice. So I'm I'm hitting the right bumper to keep myself breathing, I think, and I hit the face buttons. So I have to periodically hit the right bumper, keep the breathing up. Oh, coordination, come on. Oh man, okay, so I'm trying to do the breathing at the same time as pushing the face button. It almost sounds like something that I could be proud of. He's a fine little lass on the edge of his seat, playing VR experiences that were neat. Everybody, come on, come forth and you see, and you're in Highland, you will play it with me. Ah. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Almost! Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my fingers here. Um, PlayStation Move controller ha probably has some other... Some other, like, it was designed for a PlayStation Move controller, so I'm clearly not... I'm holding it wrong. I'm clearly doing this wrong, but... Awesome. That is freaking cool. This is one of those things that, like, this is the type of thing I'm talking about. Like, um, 
when they when people talk about prio vr uh versus stem this is one of those things i see like both you're using both items like you're using a stem controller pressing buttons but moving your moving your arms like to work the backpipe or something that would be amazing that would be sick um so yeah that is pretty neat pretty neat indeed they can never take our dev kits uh, <laughs> it's just fantastic um yeah yeah they should make it like you know um maybe you know if you don't you don't play well enough then Mordun comes out from behind the rock and eats your life he's going to do it to you you better play well <laughs> you better play better than that lad <laughs> <laughs> it is fantastic. <laughs> this is so hilarious, dude. This was so hilarious. I'm so glad everyone's happy with that little song. That was that was wonderful. Um <laughs> Thank you everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Um Oh, this was not Twist and Shout. I forgot to change that. Uh, this is called Highland. Uh, Highland is the name of this experience. Uh, so it's basically a bagpipe playing simulator. Uh, and it is pretty awesome. Um, looks like, unfortunately, uh, the controls on the Xbox 360 controller were to, uh, press the right bumper multiple times. And then after that, like, press it in conjunction with some of the face buttons. And then you get at least some semblance of uh of what you want you hear like a breathing noise you hold it down okay and then press it and then was a lass and she lived on the bay. I'm, I'm not, I'm failing. I'm failing. <laughs> I'm failing. I'm sorry, Bloodshed. I don't have a song for you, man. I don't have a song for you. Oh, here we go. His name was Bruce and his first cymatic. He tried to play songs and sing not like a... Uh, 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 okay. I think I'll stop there. Okay, good night, everybody. Good, good night. All right, that that'll be enough. <laughs> uh, Sean Connery voice. Welcome to Highland. Absolutely, play the bagpipes, boy. <laughs> Don't be shy. You're the man now, dog. All right, very nice. Um, wonderful experience. That was pretty cool. It looks awesome. It's a cool environment, like the fog on the mountains and everything. And when you actually look down at your at your character, you have this body, which is very convincing. You have these bagpipes. That's really awesome. Um, and uh, wow. So I'm tempted now to get a PlayStation Move controller and experience this in the same way it was, or in the way it was intended. Uh, so I, I'd really want to play this now. So let me go ahead and exit this. But uh, yeah, that was that was quite impressive. Um, that was that was quite impressive. That was very cool. All right, excellent. Um, so, <laughs> Bruce Cymatic of the clan Cymatic, they're quite tough bastards, but uh, uh, they get easily distracted and they break games all the time. I never invite them to the picnics. All right, very good. So we are going to change this up to the desktop, and we are going to move on to our next experience. Uh, our next experience is the Firebox 3D Internet Browser. So let me change this for the sake of the ticker. Firebox 3D Browser. And let's save that. Uh, so ticker is changed. So uh, we are going to go ahead and take a look at this title before we start it up, as is tradition. So... Uh, this is a work in progress. It's uh, in the Oculus Dev forums. It's a 3D internet browser uh, done by user James McRae. Uh, and it is rather promising from what I've heard. It's been regularly updated since its release in May. Um, actually, but no, no, no. 
no, no, no. This is he's been working on this for a little while. Um, all right, very good. So I've downloaded it and taken a look. So we're just gonna dive right in and check it out, shall we? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go and find it first. Uh, not the VR file browser. That is something different. We are looking for Firebox. I'm gonna go to Game Capture uh, because I think this starts right up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I frequently am, so please don't rely. Firebox loaded. Nice. Oculus Rift detected. There we go. Looks like the controller does not work, so I am going to be using my up, down, left, right, W, A, S, D action here. So let's go ahead and get right in. I am inside of an environment. It has a very nice skybox. It has several pillars, uh, which are quite tall and the wind is blowing. So let's go and see what is in this futuristic zone. Um, uh, mouse sensitivity is actually quite good. Uh, I have s several bookmarks. Uh, looks like this is bookmark number one, two, I have Oculus. Uh, I have a bookmark four is an imager. Um, uh, just Reddit in general. Uh, looks like, there we go. I have Drash's site is one of the bookmarks. Um, can we go inside of a bookmark? Let's go to our Oculus. Does it... Light mode activated. Oh, wow. Nice. I press space. Oh, that just... Flight mode deactivated. Okay, I got flight a flight mode. mode. activated. And I just fly wherever I look. Okay. That's awesome. Flight mode deactivated. Excellent. And I click on this. Oh! Ho ho ho! Oh, what if the web was an actual place? Let's see! Uh, number one on our Oculus, submitted by Jespionage. State of the Rift, there we go. Uh, number two. Alright, so I'm able to see, uh, different things that are here. Comment submitted. And looks like I actually go to physical places. Flick Sinks, is this like right now, right now? Is this the stuff that was on the front page? Number eight, stress tester. Uh, let's see here. I have to get close to something to see what it is. Half-Life VR. Um, so I'm not sure if this is demo VR file browser update. Yep. Um, question about, there we go. Hey guys, I was hoping uh, da, 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 da. Cincinnati with prior VR, fantastic. Uh, a VR boot. Sweet! Drift demo roundup, February 16th to March 1st. So it looks like I can physically visit all of the things that are on here. It looks like a lot of things were posted. Jesus, guide for understanding. What games are you... So I can actually physically visit these locations um, and check out the webpage, I guess. Um, since I didn't check this out yet, let's have a a little talk with Palmer. I can Room click, it opens it up, and now it's another world. And looks like it's showing all of the elements of that page. Huh. And I have a random picture of the awesome uh, Spirited Away. Room constructed. Dead end detected. All right, excellent. So it looks like it's actually taking the, the elements. So it looks like, you know, it's, it's still a work in progress, uh, but there's still some elements that are not uh, that are not available or not visible. And it's just like, ah, next. Very good. Cool. So I am able to see all types of things. How do I... Oh, was the door to exit? Wasn't it over... It was over here. Or is that... No, no, no. Okay, the exit was... Ah, it was over here. Okay, so this is like visiting all of the web as physical locations. Let me see. Um, I can go to reddit.com. I can go to Drash VR. Um, let me... Well, let me see what's on this side as well. Firefox bookmarks. Your bookmarks are here along this wall. Uh, remote FTP server. Um, very cool. And there we go. I have uh, something else here. Users, molecule, uh, workspace. Uh, I can construct web pages here in a local file system. That's awesome. 
uh, Firebox. So it looks like it has, it's based on Firefox. Reset, flight, enter URL, tab, mute, free mouse, full screen, quit is escape. And there we go. So that's quite awesome. Doesn't look like there's anything on any of the other pillars that I can see. Um, uh oh. So let's go here. And let's check out uh, Drass's page. Room constructed. Um, Jesus, Drass. It's pretty dark, bro. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Whoa! Whoa! Nice! So it looks like Drash got a custom theme for his webpage exploration, which is really flight awesome. Mode flight mode activated. Let me get some flight mode on. And can I can I leave? Looks like I am restricted to this area. Oh uh, man, that is quite cool. So not only is the web flight mode deactivated elements would be here, but it also would be something like, oh hey, you know, you can go here and and check out this whatever spot, you know. Um, let's see, what is this? This is like an example. Uh, what, Room what imager is this? This is just imager in general? Alright, cool. So I can check out, uh, various pictures that are on imager. Looks like, oh, this is the, um, the gallery from the VR, uh, VR chat meetup. Hey, what's up? This is a great place to plug. Hey, if you want to, uh, check out VR chat, we have regular virtual meetups after these streams are done so feel free to come by and check those out that's really awesome all right so these are just default bookmarks i don't have these things bookmarked necessarily um oh but that is neat it's like a kind of a portal system going on um and that you can visit these places uh so we have a workspace let's see what the workspace looks like all uh, right caffeine i have a caffeine carbon molecule carbon uh, all right nice i have a carbon uh, molecule uh, oh, no no that's ethanol all right awesome and i can look here caffeine on wikipedia uh relative tests so I have all kinds of things I can do here. This is a very, very exciting implementation of the web in 3D, having physical locations that have not only um, elements from the page, the text and the pictures and so on, but actual like three-dimensional constructs that represent that space. That is freaking exciting and freaking sick. I like it. Awesome. Cool, cool. Uh, what's up? Articulite is here. What's happening, man? You having some issues with Hitbox? I'm sorry, dude. Please re uh, reload your page if you're having some issues. Um, looks like there's a couple people that are. It seems to change. Like, every stream, there's a different couple of people that have issues with Hitbox. It's really strange. Um, man, I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. I don't know. I can't change anything about my quality. Like, Hitbox only lets you do, like, one quality. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, try the other workspace before you quit. Uh, other workspace. Let's go. I will. Uh, let's do this other workspace. Let's try this. Uh-oh. Room constructed. Pine trees! Pine trees, the workspace. Pine, pine. pine trees. mode activated. Pine trees everywhere. Front. Right. Back, left, up, down. All right, very good. I have palm trees all over the place. Again, I am restricted to this little uh, cylinder area. Um, <laughs> that's really cool. Very neat. Oh, I can hold right mouse button, and I can trash something. I can re-undo I'm gonna assume that is looks like the mouse is going into my face so this whatever this mode is needs some work um, and I'm not sure what that's about interesting looks like it's not functional it didn't do anything when I clicked on some stuff so um, wow that's pretty flight cool flight mode deactivated I, I really am a, I'm a big fan of that I like the flight mode activation and deactivation I would love to have a body here for reference um, 
that is unreal right there. That is unreal. Okay, cool. Uh, that is a little taste of the future, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that could be what the web looks like in as short as two years. That's freaking awesome. That's that's pretty sweet. Uh, I am liking that a lot. That is pretty sick. I don't know. I didn't read ever, all the documentation in true Bruce fashion, um, so I'm not sure if there's a way to input your own web pages. Looks like it has some bookmarks that are already there, but it doesn't really describe a way of um, putting in your own uh, your own like action. Like you can. Oh wait a minute. No 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 no. Okay, good. Excellent. New text. Um, can, does it do anything? New text. Flight mode activated. Flight mode deactivated. Okay, I cannot... I cannot select that text. I can't do anything with that text at the current time. Okay, that's still... That's not allowing me to... I can trash something. I could... Is that trashing it? It's not trashing it. So this, this is a context menu. So I'm able to make text. What else am I able to make? Uh, a link. Okay, looks like that's not working. It's just zooming me in on this wall. Um, so all I do is like hover over and let go. Alright, very good. All right, excellent. That's good. I have to put it at the center of my vision. And there we go. So I'm able to place and delete items using just the right mouse button. Uh, I have not figured out how to actually edit the text. I can save. I can... I'm assuming that's an image. I'm assuming this is like constructing a shape. Um, uh-oh. And it looks like it's contextual based on where I'm looking. That is a freaking neat menu, first of all. This menu is freaking so sick. Um, it just comes on the surface. So, and I just hold the mouse button down and look around. So, forget about using the mouse. Um, I can also double-click someplace and go to that place. Uh, so that's what's happening when I'm moving slightly forward. And when it says link, unfortunately, it looks like I'm not able to change it. So let me go and see, can I change a link here as a bookmark? I, I cannot. Um, so someone's probably in the chat telling me, hey, Bruce, hit it. Do a freaking, uh, yeah, tab. Duh. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go here. Uh, tab. Specify new location that All right. will center to construct. Very nice. Let's go ahead and go um, road to vr.com. New entrance constructed. Where is it constructed? Where did it make it? Where, 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 where? Where's the new entrance? Tell me immediately. My bookmark's over here. Um, Flight mode activated. Let's see if I can find where it actually made my site. Do I have to place it, or did it already place it? I do not see it anywhere, unless it's inside something else. So let's go here. Nope. And it doesn't Flight seem to be here. Flight mode deactivated. Interesting. Uh, trying to figure this out. Forgive this out. Forgive me. I really Specify want to. Specify new location. Then press enter to construct. All right. Excellent. New entrance constructed. Is it in the workspace? Someone in chat is probably telling me how to do this as well. Uh, it's one of those links I keep flying past. It's a yellow one. Jean. Is it that one? Ah! Oh! Nice! Okay! I didn't notice. Thank you! Room Point that out. Numerous entrances and Excellent! I have a new randomly generated environment, I'm assuming, and I am now visiting all of the elements of Road to VR. Uh, looks like I have the header images. Are these like the articles here? 
Um, so let's check this out. Room constructed. And again, yeah, these are like all of the elements of that particular page and other things. So yeah, it looks like it splits the site into a variety of elements. So that is freaking future right there. Uh, that is browsing the web uh, in a freaking randomly generated 3D space, which is really amazing. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah, definitely has some work. It's definitely an alpha, uh, but wow, what a promising alpha. That is pretty cool. I like the interface. It's pretty clean. Uh, I like the aesthetic here. It's actually nice. It's quick. It's it's uh, not a lot of stress on the machine, um, and looks like it loads everything very quick. Uh, so that that's very clever. I like it. It's very neat. All right, let's escape out of that and move on to the next experience. But wow, that was actually pretty impressive. I like it. I like it. All right, excellent. Uh, so that was just Firebox 3D Browser. For those of you that might have been just joining us, welcome to the Cymatic Bruce Oculus Rift uh, Sunday live stream. We play virtual reality experiences using the VR headset, the Oculus Rift, and we are doing a little of this and a little of that. We've cruised through a number of experiences and we are still going at it. Just got done with Firebox 3D Internet Explorer or browser, um, and we are going to move on to Anarchy Arcade. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, Anarchy Arcade. So, we have Anarchy Arcade, and this is quite the app. So, the the intention behind Anarchy Arcade is to have this 3D space uh, where it taps into Steam, it taps into YouTube, it taps into Twitch, it taps into your movies that you have, it taps into pretty much all the media uh, that you have on your uh, on your computer, Deviant Art, and um, and it allows you to like have physical representations to play these things on uh, and also take your Steam games and like place them physically as like arcade games in your space. Uh, looks like uh, based on this first text uh, or this first post, the guy does not have a rift himself but is built on Source Engine uh, and he put in the, uh, the VR compatibility that comes with the Source Engine SDK 2013. Uh, and so to run in VR, all you have to do is in Steam, you have to say dash VR as one of the startup options, and it starts up in VR for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, check it out and uh, start it up. It seems like a very interesting prospect, uh, one of those future things. So let's go ahead and, uh, and check it out. Excellent. All right. Uh let's go we have to go to steam for this so i'm gonna go ahead and go here oh there we go looks like someone we got a bunch of people that are trying to talk to me here sorry guys i'm streaming right now um let's see i'm gonna go ahead and start up steam let me go to my library and lots of things are here and it's uh called smarcade um anarchy edition and as you can see, you go right click, properties, set launch options, and VR is right there. So that's how you do it. And close, and we're gonna go ahead and start this experience off and uh, and make it happen and see what this looks like. Um, so, up, oh, let me go game capture. And is it going to... <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Okay, very good. So it has Morpheus here. And he's asking if you want to uh, take the blue pill or exit with the red pill. Um, it has like something this first second. Apartment. Uh, gift codes. I'm not sure if it's streaming some things. Orchard house. And I'm not sure what this is, the text is incredibly, incredibly small. I cannot read anything, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to, to get this working here. Um, oh, let me change this as well. 
make sure that people know what I'm playing, uh, change the ticker to say Anarchy Arcade. Is that what that says? Great, yes. All right, excellent. Um, so this is my arcade. I'm taking the blue pill. We're going down the rabbit hole. Um, what is this? Add-ons. I'm not sure if any of that made a difference. Okay, excellent. I actually saved what I had when I played first time. I have a body. Looks like it's from Counter-Strike. Um, and I have the ability to move with the mouse. Uh, let's see here. Uh, get my keyboard on here. Uh, I can press F1 to get kind of a tutorial video. Only one cabinet can be selected at a time. Just click on a cabinet to select it. It will turn blue. All right. By holding down the right mouse button, you control the virtual mouse cursor on the cabinet screen. Okay. Let go of the right mouse button to go back to looking around. Okay. If you click on a cabinet a second time, it will go into full screen mode. Okay. The menu on the left is called the green menu because it's green. <laughs> the menu on the top is called the address menu because it shows your address just like a web browser. Thank you. Press escape to get out of full screen mode. To deselect a cabinet, just look away from it and click. Okay, so that was pressing F1. Only one cab. Do I get something different if I press F1? Oh, wow. F2? F3? F4? F1? It's just a random. Okay, You'll F1. notice that it's if you random, look at a cabinet, uh... the action of the middle mouse... Okay, random F1 again. What is this? Windows shortcuts. Some Windows shortcuts are especially useful when playing Anarchy Arcade. Mm -hmm. If you hold down Alt and then press the Tab button, you can cycle through all the programs you have open. When you let go of Alt, it will... Okay. That's great. I don't even know what that means. Um, excellent. So spawning a picture. There are three oh. different ways to spawn pictures. Okay. First, if you already have the address to a picture on the internet, just middle click on an empty spot middle and paste click. the address into the file location box. I got it. If you want to spawn a picture from your computer instead, just middle click on an empty spot. Then click the browse button. Okay. Find the picture you want and place it on the wall. Sweet. If you want to search the web for a new picture, press B to use the in-game web browser. Okay. When you find what you want, bring down the address menu and click the Spawn Now button. It's the one with the plus on it. I can't even see that. <laughs> but Honey Badger don't care. Don't give a shit. All right, very good. Um, so I am in a 3D environment, uh, an apartment that actually looks pretty decent, looks quite nice. Um, I cannot move using the controller. You have to go WASD uh, and go here. So I could, um, I can middle click. Let's see here, and I can place a thing. So I can, I, I have like my games. Like I have Alien Swarm, Chivalry, Zoom, Enemy Unknown, Cthulhu, of the World. Is this is this it? Like I don't know what games actually. XCOM. So this is very hard to read. Um, group type. Any. Um, so I guess this is my... Uh, I think I have something in search there. Let me get rid of that. So it's showing all of the games I have. Realm of the... Let's just get Realm of the Mad God, for example. Uh, let's go double click on it. Uh, and now I have an arcade cabinet. That's Realm of the Mad God. I'm going to put this arcade cabinet right in my kitchen. And there it is. So now it's selected. I could look at it. Looks like it's playing a video. Um, I can right click. It says I could right click on here and control the menu in the game, but I'm not seeing myself do anything. I wonder if the game, like, I can go full screen. I guess it's like viewing the Steam page of this item, uh, but I can't actually play the game. I can press escape to get out of that. I can also 
click uh, or roll once on the mouse wheel and zoom in, that is rather uncomfortable. Um, and that changes nothing about the movie that's viewed. Okay. Um, so yeah, it looks like I'm checking out the web page of that game. So I'm not sure if like, you know, I could actually play the game from here or something else. Let's try. Let's try to do something else here. Um, let's spawn a picture. God, this is so small, and I have no idea what to do. Um, app group type any PC movies TV YouTube. So images. Search. I can say browse. All right. Let me actually change this to. PC, and I'm just going to go browse here, and oh, that is not good because it just puts the browse window um, not in stereoscopic 3D, it actually spawns on top of my, okay, that's that's not good, um, so it just spawned the window on top of the game, and that's just like super jarring, like in your face, uh, but I'm just going to go to my pictures folder very quickly, and uh, Go ahead and check it out. No porn, I promise. Uh, let's see here. Um, let me go on the PlayStation 3 wallpapers. And that, that's some stuff that will actually look kind of nice, right? Uh, so one of my favorite series, Gunbuster. Open. And now I've got it. Oh, and it made it into an arcade cabinet. That was strange. Um, so maybe I have to change this type? Let's try that. Movies, TV, web. Let's try images. Gunbuster. Oh, no. It still makes it into an arcade machine. And the text is too small, to I can't read anything. So it has the image. That is sick, oh, although I would love to have an arcade machine that actually looks like this and make a Gunbuster game. That would be sick as all hell. And I can see the image, and there it is. Um, nice, I press escape to quit. Okay, um, so this is a pretty interesting experience, a cool proof of concept. Um, for the VR interface, all of the text needs to be way, way bigger. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, no porn. Looks like everyone's leaving because there's no porn. Uh, this is not all that, all that thrilling. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit. It's a cool concept, though. I like it, but looks like I probably have to watch all those tutorial videos to actually start doing anything cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit. <laughs> yeah! Alright! What? No! No, I'm not! Alright, very good. <laughs> uh let's move on to something else. Uh, uh let's see. I'm so evil. So evil. Next up is Techno Lust. Finally, we it's time for Techno Lust. It's time. Uh time for Techno Lust. We are the people who can play it. So we got some techno lust here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change up and install here. So we have downloads and we have the VR folder on the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and get this all done. This is uh, techno lust alpha, the latest one. And I'm going to replace this folder once again. And I'm copying files over. Here we go. So we are preparing, preparing uh, to play Techno Lust. While that's loading up, let's go ahead and check out the info on the title. Uh, so Techno Lust Pre Alpha. 0.08 have a look at this awesome demo 1980s cyberpunk inspired virtual reality adventure very early demo just to get a taste of what's coming near future 3d printing is ubiquitous 
unique VR experience, an innovative control scheme that any granny can handle. Move with the right mouse button. Ooh. And interact with the left. You can use uh, WASD or a controller if you wish. Um, so it looks like it's using the right mouse button to just move forward, which is actually kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and... Um, I got this just downloaded. Hopefully this is the right one. All right, let's uh, let's begin. Let's give this a shot. Techno lust. Hmm. It still says version point five. I used the uh, the link that you gave me, my friend. I'm not sure what's going on. I think this is uh, still the wrong version. Uh, let me see. I'm going to try it out anyway. So I'm crazy. And it's starting. It's being captured. Uh -oh. Nice. Oh, looks like it's starting. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've got to stop this just for a second. I've got to switch this up. Techno lust. Oh yes, here we go. Techno lust, people. It's on. Let's make this happen. So many things open. Hardline connection terminated. You received a new private message before connection was lost. Please disable local uplinks and exterior connections to continue. Right button moves forward. Uplink. Outside. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah yes! So Blade Runner! Ah oh, man, I'm loving the particle effects that are in the air right now. This is beautiful. This music is spot on. Uh, the environment has a lot of character. I'm liking this. I have some some classic things, some film reels, and some old books, an old speak and spell for some reason, or speak and say was it, a beautiful armchair, looks like Morpheus might have sat in this, I've got uh, some kung fu skills evidently that I use to practice on, it looks like whatever place I am is probably pretty shady, I've got this desk, I've got uh, some, some toast, some bread, an oculus rift, uh, computer and my trusty mask it's all I need radio control one new messages secure access required disable uplinks to continue so I go to uplink you do not have the appropriate tools to disable that uplink oh I'm a hipster I, I evidently have some uh, some turntable action so excellent so I can use the mouse right button to move forward wherever I'm looking left button um, to interact with things. Uh, I can also evidently use the Xbox controller to move around. Uh, the walk speed is actually quite nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So it looks like I need some tools to start working on this. This music is phenomenal, by the way. I can press A to interact with things. Looks like we have a sick-ass uh, Cuban cigar there. This credit stick is nearly depleted. It contains only enough for one soda. I've only got one soda's worth of credits. Nice, classic Atari 2600. I got a genie lamp. That's what I'm talking about. Uplink. Looks like uh, you're always being watched. Even in the bathroom, man? It's a dark ass bathroom, screw that. Vindotron. Looks like it's a Jolt Cola. I'm all about that. Oh man, so it looks like there's surveillance everywhere. Genie time! Can't get it. Got some tools. Excellent. Looks like I have an old phone booth. 
I'm loving, I'm loving the music and aesthetic here. I'm really loving this. This is very cool. Uh, let's keep going. What else do we have? Looks like I have disabled that uplink. I've disabled that one so I can disable them one at a time. And, uh... See if there's any others here. Area secured. Excellent. Playing new message. Hey, Dad. It's me. Um, Max Edger. Uh, <laughs> I'm going away for a couple days. Can you keep an eye on the cats for me? I uh need you to watch those fat cats. They're the damn things that have been chewing on my wires. You get me, Dad. Watch them for me. Thanks. Warning, unknown attachments may contain malicious software. Please click decompress to confirm. The file appears to be a schematic. Moving to work drive. Collect enough of the required components to build the item. Wow. Red, Oculus Rift, area secured. I'm just going to every item now, just checking it out. No feds on my tail right now, good. What's up, speaking spell? That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Um, empty can of soda. What kind of crazy inventory do I have? I have an empty can of soda, I have like a... Oh, that's crazy. A cigar? I can't get the cigar, it just turns the light on and off. Uh, controller maybe? Can I pick that up? I cannot pick that up, nor can I turn on the television. I can. I've already grabbed a lamp. I have... Can I turn on these lights here? There we go. No one in the shower, please? Jesus! God, if that's, if that's not creepy enough. Clean your toilet, bro. All right, excellent. Uh, what else do we have here? Mode aluminum required to build schematic. More carbon required to build schematic. Um, hey now. Whoa, not safe for work. <laughs> Am I gonna get an increase in viewers now? <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is, this is good. Okay, um, so I need more carbon. Can I take these and put them in a toaster? There we go. Nice. Uh, burn that toast, that should give me some carbon. Awesome. Toast it, toast it, toast it, toast it, toast it, toast it, let's go. Let's make it happen. Um, and so I need more aluminum. I'm assuming I can do the soda cans. There we go. Uh, there was one in the machine as well. Can I just drink it and get that? Oh, man. Uh, so this is already immersive and uh, very nicely done. What is it telling me? More carbon. More carbon. Let's see if my toast is burnt enough already. Yeah! Burn it! I want just straight carbon, baby the original way of making carbon fiber, people. Forgetting about your toast in the morning. Alright, so while I wait for this toast to get done, I'm gonna check the chat. This is fantastic. Um, there we go. <laughs> this is crazy. Everything is intense. Like, it's like, it's like a comedy skit right now. It's like, get the toast out of the toaster. Snake, you need more carbon to build your item. Make sure to shuttle the shit out of it! Is it burn enough, Snake? Good god, they're right on your tail. Did you undo the uplinks? Nicely done. Claim the carbon and get the hell out of there. Come on, come on, give me the carbon. Give me... Let me pick up the goddamn toast. What is this, what is this? A 
Okay, what is it? What is it telling me? Okay, more carbon. Okay, cool. Why can't I pick it up now? Can I pick it up now? There we go. It's burnt enough now. Like it totally uh, had to react with the oxygen in the air and uh, whatever, whatever. All right. So I have the item. It's radio control. Uh, I'm gonna go back to where those computers were. All right. What else we need? More aluminum. Jesus. Um. Let's see. Is there more? Ah, what else? What else is there? Oh my goodness. I can't get that. There we go. I can finally grab that can of soda. Is that enough? What else do I need? Do I have to toast this too? More? Uh, well, why can't I grab the... Oh, there we go. More? Jesus. Uh, why can't I grab this soda? There we go. I just have to back Required up a little bit. components obtained. Schematic ready to print. Okay. Nice. Alright, so I, I would love to have some more contextual clues and let me know when I'm in the right area. Uh, that would be helpful. I'm kind of pressing a button and not really sure. Um, maybe it was intended for a mouse to click on a certain thing, but I am... Uh, I'm getting it, but uh, it would be great to have something like light up or know what I'm actually... when I can grab something and when I can't. Um, maybe not to make it obvious, but to kind of, you know, when I'm looking in the right way. At least with this stuff like, like this. I'm not sure, I'm pressing enter, I'm pressing A, but nothing's happening. I guess I'll just press enter on the keyboard. That Was that enter? Okay, excellent. It appears to be an auditory visual augmentation. Installing now. Auditory visual augmentation. That sounds like a hologram. And I'm loving it. It's installing it? Johnny Manomic style? I've data from the schematic. It appears to give access to an encrypted data stream. I have added the data to my own systems. Detecting encrypted signals nearby. Shit. What next? Dude, this is engrossing and freaking cool. Okay, what's what's going on next? What's going on next here? D D D what D D D D what? What's D D D D? What's uh? What's next here? Audio visual. Uh, the only other screen I have is a TV. That should be something that. Uh, I guess not. What? Oh, maybe I should have been here. I've got a radio, I'll play some things on. There is a signal piggy backing on the original billboard feed. It has multiple layers, some of which contain uncertified schematics. Ooh. A pirate broadcast signal. Very clever really. Using the thing the corporations will maintain broadcasting at all costs against them. Nice. How? How do I download those schematics? It's like a machine I could... Can I do something with this? Can I go out stop? This is freaking awesome. Wow. Nice.
Way to keep the head tracking. Did you find the Easter eggs? <laughs> Just noises! And... Is that it? I think that's it. Nice. That was pretty sweet. That was that was pretty sweet. Nice, polished. Uh UI was great. Uh very cool puzzles made sense. Dude, anti cleric, dude. That was freaking awesome. That was freaking awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. That was engrossing. Uh and it absorbs you right from the start. With just the sound and then coming in with the audio visual craziness, um, starts a game and then exits the same way, maintains that sense of immersion and mystery. I love that. Um, I love that there's hints. There was a little bit of frustration with knowing what position to be in or where to look to something to pick it up, um, but that was the only uh, quabble I have with it. Other than that, it was it was it was pretty sweet. It was freaking awesome, for sure. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, that is, uh, that is pretty impressive. Techno Lust. Techno Lust. Great work, man. Great work. I was, that was good. Man, I, I was immediately immersed and immediately on that puzzle. Like, it was, that was pretty good. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would Lust again. <laughs> Great stuff. All right, so we're out of that. Back to the desktop. And we are almost closing this out. Our last demo is Hell Waltzer. Let's check this out. Let's see here. Hell Waltzer. Okay, so Hell Waltzer is a cool interesting demo looks like it's a vr carnival ride so we've had the roller coasters but now we're getting carny style and we're gonna get the rest of it so it's done by uh, it's got rift away uh is the name of the uh the dev or the devs uh company uh and this is the, going to be the first of many that he's planning and have a direct download right on the site so uh, it's very straightforward. It's a ride. We're just going to go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and, uh, and start her up. Hell, Walter. That funky Walter. Hell, Walter, Walter. That funky Walter. Here we go. Fantastic. Native resolution. We're switching over to game mode. And... Tesseract, take us away. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Um. Oh God! Hold on. Sneeze. It's carnival time and you're on a ride Gonna go to a hell with a skull inside It's a hell waltzer It's a hell waltzer Ride gets faster And it goes a little slow Now it's going the other way And man, don't you wish that you could grow From a kid that you are in your time And you're speeding it Oh my god Gonna vomit any time now I hope I got my broom and mop Oh my lord Ha <laughs> ha! It's a crazy ride. It's a funny ride. Left and right on the left and the long stick, and you're going on a real, real good time. We're gonna go to the left, and we're gonna go to the right. We are spinning all in circles, and that boots look just right. What's up, girl? How you doing? Wearing white really well. I'm gonna rotate my little thing and uh, see you out of hell. <laughs> Yeah! Okay. I have no idea what's going on. I can use the triggers to kind of turn my item a little bit. Uh, left 
and right analog sticks are uh, changing the speed of the ride. Um, this music is, I love this song. It's freaking sick. I love it. So I can, oh, I guess I'm not. So 